In today's video, we're going to be engraving some shot glasses. I've got about 30 to do, and they're gonna have some simple text on them, but what happens when you're engraving on glass or any other surface and there is a height difference, such as this one? If you take a look at this glass, and you can see if I had to put this flat, you've got a lower end and a higher end. Now, what do you do? Let me show you. Having a look at this shot glass, when we lie it flat, you'll have a big issue when it comes to your height distance. Now we know with any laser, we have to have a specific height where the head sits above your piece of material that you're engraving. Today, this is a piece of glass. So what would you do when it comes to having two different heights and you're only supposed to level your head to one? Well, the simple method that I use is level it to the middle. So we've got two different ends here that have two different heights and the middle we meet is here. And if we align our head for the middle of our glass, then we compensate for both sides. So the first thing we ought to do is now put our shot glass in and line up our head. So let's quickly do that. I've already made a jig for this job because I had to do a sample first for our customer, but because I'm showing you the actual how to engrave this, then I'm just gonna put it straight into my, my jig that I've made here. Now that it's in my jig, the first thing we need to do is now line up our laser head. We first have to take our laser head and make sure that we have our height difference of this in between. This one here is 10 mils. Um, each laser has a different height method. This one is 10. Uh, some of your bigger lasers will be 20 or maybe less. But in this case, we're using 10. So we first have to put this underneath and we're gonna move it to our middle of our shot glass. And we're gonna make sure that our heart of our head is perfect, which there it is. We're gonna make sure that our heart is perfect and this fits directly underneath with a little bit of play, which is perfect because this is halfway in our glass of where we are actually engraving. So now that we've put our head and lined it up to the middle of our glass where it is in between both different heights, we can now safely say it's going to engrave with a similar quality all around, which is what we want. We don't want the top half to be in focus and the bottom half out of focus. Your engraving is gonna be very blurry at the end. You're gonna have shards of glass coming out, but in most aspects, you wanna make sure that that is in the middle and aligned to the middle so that you're gonna have a really nice engraving overall, which is what you want. All right, so let's have a look at our engraving. This came out really, really nice. We've got all of our letters that are in focus. Um, having made sure that that focus length is in the middle and we run our finger over it and we don't have any shards of glass that come off and everything is in focus, which makes it look so, so good. And with that little trick, you can do so well on so many different surfaces. Just keep in mind to make sure that you do your focal length in the middle of where your two offsets are, and it'll come out really, really good. At am.co.za, we have always taken pride in our products and customer service. 
Our Google rating represents our commitment to providing our clients with the best support possible. We have officially achieved a rating of 4.9 stars and an astounding 699 reviews for our Jet Park branch in Johannesburg at the end of 2020. Let's move our attention to our branch in Montague Gardens of Cape Town, where we have achieved a rating of 4.8 stars and an amazing 299 reviews. We would like to thank you, our loyal customers. Thank you, South Africa. AM.co.za. Achievement matters.